Hey guys, Jason the X here for SNES Live, powered by Cinelinks.com, and this is the review of Transformers Generations Autobot Skids. Yes, the deluxe version of Skids. I was waiting on this guy. Glad I finally got him. I got Waspinator too. We'll get into that review in a little bit, but yes. Skids! And he's an awesome little bot car. Um, well, it's not really little, but anyway. We'll get some comparisons in a second. Now, uh, the package, he comes with uh, one of the latest... Uh, um, ooh, excuse me, Transformers comics that was out, but um, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, my son is getting into reading comics now, and he has pilfered that comic, and I cannot find where it went, so, yeah, apologies about that. Anyway, there's a look at the package, there's a look at Skids, armed, blasters combined, hidden weapons, and there's a look at his tech specs. So anyway, Packaging. Let's get to Skids. And Skids is a little two-door hatchback. I, I, sorry, he rolls so well. And he has painted rims. I love that. Let's get a look at the figure himself. I love the grill. He kind of reminds me of the uh, Evac figure. That um, kind of got a little Legends figure of him. And he was a deluxe exclusive. If you went to the ride... This back actually wasn't pegged in there. Uh, of course, like most of these generations figures, he's very plain in the back. At least he got painted on tail lights, but a hey, repro labels might come up with something. Or I might add a little bit of paint to him. But yeah, I'd love the paint in rims, the uh, line down the door. Of course, he got the translucent plastic on all of his windows, of course, except for the back. But yeah, underneath, not a lot of kibble. Yeah, you can see some hands, but. Not too bad. Nice Autobot symbol right there. So yeah, uh, good looking figure. Yeah, he is a hatchback. Uh, for comparison, here he is with uh, Generations Wheeljack. And you can kind of see the size differences here, but he's a hatchback. Wheeljack is a huge, you know, drag strip muscle car. So. Anyway, I had his weapons pegged on uh, on the side. He does come with these very uh, Transformers Prime type holes in the side where weapons can be plugged in so you get to I'm going to blast you while driving down the road look and as far as his weapons does have uh, two handguns this skids figure as you can see he's got a lot of armament on him but uh, take a look at the rifle here not too bad a lot of good detail there you'll see it's got a hole in the back and then you have this uh, handgun with the drum magazine here. Yeah, not too bad. And what these can do is they can combine. You just slip this one in here. And there you go. Uh, not, it doesn't really add too much to it. I kind of like having it as two guns, but uh, maybe if this part was actually underneath, you know, I think that would look better if this handle was um, down here instead. But, eh, it is what it is. This would get in the way of aiming. Sorry. So anyway, moving on. Uh, I love Skid's transformation. I do. Um, it's very smooth. Got a lot of good things going here. The first thing you want to do is take the doors and pop them up in this gull wing fashion here. And then you want to take these and just rotate them because they're on a pin here. There you are. Next up, you want to take these legs and just go ahead and pull them down. And when you do this, um, a lot of people have been complaining like he, he tips over. It's because you want to make sure that these lock all the way. And there you go. As far as his feet, you want to take the, the toe pieces and lock them like that. Make sure you lock them. And then they just kind of sit on the side and come down, and you want to rotate them around. So, once again, once again, bam. Now you come up here to the top. Camera up a little bit here. Pull out the shoulders. And you want to pull them out so that they kind of lock out. I'm not to pull too much because you want to get them out because that's going to be his, pretty much his arm articulation. So once those are out, you want to take the hood, bring it down. Before we do that, let's uh, go ahead and take this windshield piece, 
which we can pop up we can bring down and put between the doors which is kind of cool that's part of the backpack we can just bring that up and I know he's got the guns there we'll get to that in just a second so anyway flip the center of the hood around and lock it in and then you just want to take the chest piece and just push it together bring the head up a little bit and there you have oh I'm sorry you want to pull these out a little bit because these actually these tabs will peg into the sides of the car and you have to peg these in or else you can't really get the uh, uh, back into the car to lock together properly but oh and also rotate the waist <laughs> And I tipped them over because I wasn't really paying attention. But yeah, and after all that, there you go. You have skids in his robot mode. And awesome looking bot. I like the look of this guy. Uh, for size comparison, uh, who did I pull off the shelf? I don't really go too much into my size comparison. I just grab two bots. Who's in car mode? Who's in robot mode? Here he is with Blur. And he is a little bit smaller than this generation's figure. But, you know, not too bad. I mean, Blur is, he's got a really big head, you know, so maybe that wasn't the best comparison to have it to. I don't see anybody around here that I could really compare him to. Well, we got Magnus in his robot mode, in his truck mode sitting over here. I've just got random stuff sitting on the table right now. But anyway, so yeah, we have Skids here in his robot mode, and he does have his uh, blaster, which you can put in any one of his hands. So he's got this huge rifle, which um, I wish he could maybe like grip this with both hands, but there's no way that these will come together. There's just too much car and not enough, uh, not enough shoulder articulation for it. Now, he does have quite a bit more guns. These on the bottom here, they are actually geared together, so you can put those up. You want to come back here to um, his back piece and just bring it all the way down and the guns on the inside if you pull this down all the way make sure that the doors are out of the way the guns will actually flip up if the shoulder pieces aren't in the way and you can bring this backpack back up lock it into that same bar and once more you can pull down the front wheel wells and he's got some missile pods on each shoulder so yeah this guy is armed to the teeth and let's go ahead and take a look at his uh, head sculpt I don't like this head sculpt as much it's very IDW but it looks it looks scary alright it just looks scary I mean look at him he's just, he, he is just serious I will blast you to smithereens look right there I love how the car, uh, the car front becomes his chest, though. Very old school. Uh, one thing to note, these numbers on the insides of the door, and there's like etched in numbers on this side. Not a big fan of those. Anyway, as far as articulation wise, he does have a ball joint at the ankle. It gives you some nice articulation. Oh, uh, this is why he wasn't standing. One thing to consider, when he, one thing to do. When you're transforming him back to car mode, the leg needs to be at this angle or else it won't properly close but when you get him out of car mode you need to push this forward and lock those in and that'll help him stand too so yeah that does uh, make him stand up a lot better um, of course he does have a knee joint a ratchety knee joint one thing about the uh, he does have a, a thigh swivel but the hips he can go back, but he cannot go forward because of just the weight it is here. I don't know what that is. I'm thinking, uh, I believe I've read something about something is backwards on this guy. I don't know for sure, but I do like him as is. Of course, you got a waist joint, which shows you in the uh, articulation. Let's do to the transformation. Got a nice ball joint on the head. Of course, his gun's here. Now, right, he doesn't have, he does a ball joint in there. But it's kind of recessed. It's kind of like Chrome Dome from the Fans Projects line. But you can get a little bit out of there. 
He's got a uh, no biceps hole because of this pin here, but he does have an elbow joint that's on a ball joint. So you can get a little bit more in there. No um, wrist articulation at all, which probably would have helped him. But I still like this guy. He's pretty awesome. He's going to make a nice addition to my generation shelf, and I'm glad to have him. So uh, these guys are starting to make their make their way to uh, Walmarts and Targets and everything. So he's pretty easy to find. Uh, we got one more review, Waspinator, and uh, another one to get to. So I'm going to go ahead and get to him. But until next time, guys, I'm Jason the X for SNS Live, powered by Cinelinks.com, and I'll catch you later.